All right, I gotta give you an update. We've been in quarantine now for like a week. Somebody's gotta get me out of here. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Nah, no, just kidding. Check that out. Got me another package of Point Blank Rods and Fuji Rod components. I am putting them together right now, actually building one as we speak. Y'all saw the last video. I think you did anyways. We catch a pretty good swim jig, caught a couple, had a couple bites on a swim bait. Anyways, this is the rest of that day. We straight up caught them pretty dang good that day, actually. Uh, caught a couple big ones, lost some good ones too. So they're really pulling up pre-spawn hardcore. So this is what you're seeing in this video is me picking off those last little bit of pre-spawners. A few of them I'm sure are spawning on some of these harder spots and some of these stumps that I'm throwing around. But for the most part, these are hardcore, super fat pre-spawners and they are eating the way that I want to catch them. So enjoy the video. I will see y'all at the end. Broke this one up into two days because I need some content and I don't want to post a 25 minute video. So I would post two 10 minute videos. So that's it. See y'all guys in the next video, or after this video, I'll be right back. Have a good one. So, been throwing a green pumpkin for a while. Picked up the old white one. Caught me another good one on it. When he ate it, I thought he was small. Then I snatched him out of the water and realized he was a three pounder. That's fun. Snatch them straight out of the dang water. I said I didn't come out and smoke it, which was awesome. Pretty little. There we go. It's a good one too. Been a while. It's been quite a while. I was just about to sit down and tell y'all what was happening. Because I ain't been keeping none. It's the biggest one of the day though. Oh, there we go. Three and three quarters probably. Fat sucker. So moved down here to the obviously the dam of this lake's right there moved down here to this side of the lake went back into a pocket and there's obviously quite a bit less cover down here but there's some really really good cover it looks like it should be like really high percentage so i fished it didn't get any bites at all and we're just about to make a move that nice one right there very very pretty fish close to a four pounder for sure three and a half three and three quarter big female so that swim bait gonna turn her loose now. But no, it felt big. It ain't real big, but it's a good one. killing y'all but he might have been caught a few times very very nice pretty fish Full of babies.
Oh no! Dead gum. God! Holy crap, dude! <laughs> what in the heck is this dude doing? Talking about blowing up on one, dude. Charlie. That gimmick. I missed that one earlier, I believe. Okay, so for whatever reason, I was not filming. We have hooked a giant. Get over here, big girl. Get over here. Oh, man. Look at that one. I cannot believe I didn't have a camera on for that. Oh, man. That's the biggest one I've caught since I've been coming over here, I believe. Well, I've only coming over here twice, but... What I'm saying is, it's bigger than that 14 of the day, I think. This is a big one. Six five. Yep. Sure enough. Big old one. Big, big old one. I'm gonna put it in here just for a second, try to get a picture with her. <laughs> Finally got one off that dang island. Oh, I've been fishing that thing so much. Knowing there ought to be one on there. Finally got him. Nice one, three pounder. Show enough. I belly flopped him. Sorry, buddy. Show enough fun to eat like that, though. Came up. So there's all my rod build and stuff. I'm building this rod specifically to be a frog rod. So, so keeping my same titanium LRV first guide. And then what I'm going to do is because this is a braid rod, I'm going to put number five guides instead of number four guides. So that's what I'm working on right now. So that's the beauty, obviously, of making your own rods is I've got the same exact rod blank, same exact guide spacing, but I have the LRV to number four Fuji guides on my fluorocarbon flipping rods, and then I have the LRV number six to number five all the way up the rod for my frog and braid and punching rod and stuff like that. So that's one of the cool things you can do whenever you build your own rods. You can adjust the size of the guides or the hook keeper. Like I'm gonna have a different hook keeper on my flipping rod as my, than my frog rod. So that's the kind of stuff you can do when you build your own rods. That's, I always love seeing one come together. Yesterday I opened up the package, had a rod blank, had the guides and everything separate. And then today I will have epoxy going on the guide and tonight it'll be my final coat of epoxy. So very, very cool to see it all come together that quickly. I'll be catching a frogfish on that rod in probably two or three days. So that's freaking awesome. So cool. Caught a 10 pounder on a rod I built already this year. Everything, it'd be so awesome to do that. And you can personalize it. But anyways, I'm done talking. I will see y'all guys in the next video. Hopefully, we'll be, there'll be a frog bass or two starring in the next episode. So hit that subscribe button. Check back on that. Y'all know I like throwing that frog around.